Hey, we're going to set up a uh, our system so we can do cool stuff like this. I'm on Firefox in my trusty browser, and I, on my mouse, I'm hitting scroll left. And that lets me switch tabs, and I don't have to you know, continually move my mouse up here and do that stuff. Um, and we're also going to bind, bind a few other things to our keyboard, such as Control-Delete-D will uh, show and hide the desktop if you if you're holding control D and uh, that's pretty much all but I, I did need to show this for people who have uh, mice for professional people um, <laughs> so so let's open up a terminal and we have to install uh, and this is the command line for install things X bind keys and that's going to do the binding of keys for us and then the xbind keys dash config is a user interface, a graphic user interface for that uh, key binding software. And we also need X automation, which allows us to send keystrokes. Uh, so go ahead, install all of that stuff, and you will be good to go. Once that installs for you, uh, type ls a, and you'll see it added this new uh, little command. Actually, you don't have to type this, but it added added a new uh, folder, and that's where you configure your mouse. X bind key keys. <laughs> that one's always very hard because it looks like source at the end. But here's here's what it looks like when you define a keystroke. Here's my uh, famous, or not my famous, or mine even. Uh, here's my show high desktop thing, and I start with an annotation. I need to describe the command. Then I put in the command and you can run this on the command line within the quotes and it'll run and it's a little complicated this one. And then we have control alt D in English that's the key command. So I could change this to E if I wanted to but but I want it to be D because that's best. Um, this one's a little more clear to see. The command it's running is just Firefox. And on the terminal, you can type Firefox, and you'll see, oh, it opens up just fine. Everything's cool. So that's that's how it works. And then right here, you're seeing like raw key codes, keyboard codes. Like here's the Shift Control and Shift modifier. And then here's key 25. I'd assume that's what what is going on. But you can actually delete that if you wanted to, if you don't care for that kind of information. I'm just going to leave it because I don't care uh, one way or the other. Here's here's where it gets tricky though. Uh, XTE is the command that we're using to send keystrokes. So XTE for instance key E will send the E key and you'll see I didn't type that E just now. It did it. Uh, key E F. I wonder... no. Key E F. Nope. All right. Key F. Key F. There we go. Um, so, so that's that's what we're doing. We're like programmatically or on the terminal, uh, sending keystrokes, and we're sending Control, hold down Control, hold down Shift, and then push the Tab key, and then release those things we were holding down. And do that when you you hear it's listening for button six, mouse button six. So that's all that's happening. Pretty easy. Uh, my favorite key binding, besides these uh, tabbing keys, I have to say it's it, it has to be uh, Control Alt E for opening up Explorer, Windows Explorer. It's Windows key E, uh, but in Linux you're going to have to type Control Alt E because there's something weird. They don't Linux doesn't have access to the Windows key. I don't really follow how that's possible because when I push the Windows key I obviously see it but let's just ignore the weirdness of that for a moment and let's look at NAUtilis the Windows Explorer uh, it doesn't jiggle um, I don't I don't know if that's normal but it does not jiggle um, but you'll notice this is our home folder but didn't where's our X keybinds thing well that's obviously a hidden file because it starts with a dot uh, and to show hidden files you just type Control H. H is for hidden, of course. And then scroll to the bottom and you'll find it right there. You could even edit it that way if you felt like doing that. We don't. We do not. So let's uh, let's unhide that. And let's go ahead and uh, go to some more issues such as, well, what if I wanted to use the address bar? Because that's how things work. And all it's showing is uh, 
ridiculous little they call them breadcrumbs and so so hit control L and that shows you your address bar now you can type in let's go to root let's see what's there Ooh, cool we're right at root um, very fun now that leaves that lends us to that leads us to wondering, well, how do I connect to a Windows computer? Well, type in SMB colon slash slash, and SMB stands for Samba, which is the what Windows sharing is, and then type in the name of your Windows computer, and then hit enter, and lo and behold, this is a Windows computer, and here's the administrative shares that you can see, they're not even hidden, um, and here's my uh, shares that I have made. So let's just go into movies, and we're going into uh, TV. We're going to go into DS9 season. Oh, it gets cool in the four. And yeah. And now we're actually watching these videos from wireless, actually, from a Windows computer. Uh, this has given me less uh, stuff than uh, <laughs> less jazz, less problems than Windows does. Like, when I upgraded to Windows 7, uh, Windows XP was having trouble connecting to the shares and stuff. So, it uh, li connecting to Windows uh, computers from Linux, that's, that's it's better than connecting to Windows computers in Windows. Um, that's very cool. Now, now you're wondering, well, what's the best way to connect to uh, another Linux computer um, that I own and I made it? Um... But I don't want to have to to type in. I, I don't ha want to have to manually like click here and be like, uh, file sharing. How do I sharing options and and like setting it to share and whatnot. Um, and I think that does Samba sharing. Well, good news is you can just connect via SSH or S. Let's just leave it as SSH, and we can type in the name of that computer. I have a, a Debian computer, and it's named oddly enough Deb. I'll just hit enter, and it'll ask me for my password. I'm going to connect via this username, and you will see. Sure enough, I'm right here on Deb, and I'm just going to go into Home, Kentos. And just like look at all this stuff, we got we got tutorials, we got stuff, and it's really easy to like migrate all of that stuff into like your new thing. Um, so yeah, that's very cool. Uh, Dab Home Kentos, it's cool stuff. And it actually changed from SSH to SFTP, which stands for FTP over the SSH um, protocol, which means it's encrypted and safer, and, and it runs okay. It's pretty fast. Um, I'm not complaining about it or anything. And it was easy. I didn't have to set it up to share anything. Um, so that is cool. Um, so now you know about NAUtilis. Um, to get into NAUtilis, control alt e set up that little th key binding. And uh, remember, control h show hidden, uh, control l and and you can also of course open up any utilis in root mode by typing any utilis just like that and this is very scary i like to slow down the way i'm talking and just say whoa should we be in root should we be if i if i click here and hold and i accidentally let go and you know whoa let's um if i bump the delete key like I, I don't want to be a part of this, so I'm going to close it up immediately. It's closed up. All right, we feel much better about that. Uh, hopefully, this gives you a good kind of a foothold into the Windows system, and later on, I'll tell you how to do more cool stuff, especially how to get this cool little sidebar docky thing. Ooh, isn't it cool? It even lights up. So uh, look forward to that.